So today we're going to compare two different gaming mice. One is the Rabbit Mouse by Quadraclix, which is supposed to be a more ergonomic way of gaming. And it makes it so you don't have to hover over the buttons. And with the Rabbit Mouse, it's supposed to make it so you can use the entire finger instead of just your fingertips. So I thought it'd be interesting to compare this new ergonomic mouse versus something more common or more traditional, like the Logitech 502 Hero that just came out recently. So I'm curious to see which one I like better and which one feels more natural when gaming. So first let's take a look at the Rabbit Gaming Mouse, which is the RBT Rebel Reel 1.112. It's quite the model number. And there's not really a lot of information on the box. It just basically talks about it being ergonomic and a new way of gaming. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Okay, so it's a pretty simple presentation with this black foam here and two cutouts. And the only thing it comes with is this little piece of paper that basically tells you how to hold it and what some of the buttons are. Okay, so yeah, this definitely looks a little different than most gaming mice that I've seen. Just look at how high the buttons are. Okay, so I can see already what they're talking about. It sort of provides a rest up top and you're actually pushing the buttons with like the middle of your finger. That's definitely gonna feel a little bit awkward. Then of course in the middle is your scroll wheel, which I guess the scroll wheel feels okay. Not really much different than other gaming mice that I've tried. And then you can see right in the center is your DPI button. And then on the side you got your forwards and backwards button. Then you've also got a button on the bottom for the LED light, which just lights up the rabbit logo right on top. And it does have a braided USB cable that seems pretty long enough for what I'll be using it for. So the mouse itself is pretty lightweight. It does have a real shiny black plastic along the center. And then around the edges where you actually hold on to the mouse, is sort of a matte black, not quite rubber, but it definitely helps with giving you a little bit more grip. So I think that pretty much covers the basics for the rabbit mouse. Let's go ahead and look at the Logitech mouse and start testing these out. So now let's take a look at the Logitech G502 Hero Gaming Mouse. Now this looks more like what I'm used to where it just gives a lot of information on the box before you even open it, such as dual mode, hyper fast scroll wheel, onboard memory, RGB lighting, it has the Hero sensor for tracking, up to 16,000 DPI, and it has a weight of 121 grams. And the nice thing about this is it does have adjustable weights where you don't get that with the Rabbit Mouse. And you've also got 11 programmable buttons. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. So pretty simple presentation, nothing real fancy. So this comes with warranty information and it does come with a quick start guide. Pretty simple, just plug and play and they just show you where the weights are located. And this is a cool little case that the weights come in. And you can see this one also comes with a braided USB cable. So the first thing I noticed right away is just how this mouse feels a little bit heavier and there's something about it that makes it feel a little bit more high quality. I don't know if it's because of this dual mode hyper fast scroll wheel. It has like a metal texture to it. It's bigger, it seems clickier. It just feels more premium overall. Yeah, this scroll wheel is crazy. It has a button to actually lock it in place. And then it just scrolls like a wheel with no clicks. That's crazy. On the sides, it does have like a rubberized grip, which actually feels pretty good. So you've got the normal left and right button. 
Then you got this one here, which I assume is the DPI button. You got these two buttons here. You got your forward and backwards buttons on the side. And then right here, you've also got a sniper button. And then besides the scroll wheel being a button itself, it also goes left and right. Then you've also got RGB lighting for the logo and the three little hash marks right here on the side. So here's just a quick look at what the RGB lighting looks like. You'll notice the rabbit mouse keeps staying green and the Logitech one keeps changing colors. So now I'm gonna test these out by playing some games and see which one I think is the better choice. Okay, so now that I've been testing these two gaming mice out, I think it's pretty clear which one is the better choice for me. I wanna say the quality of the rabbit mouse is very good, and I like the fact that they are trying to figure out a better way for gaming and a more ergonomic way of gaming. I'm not sure if they quite have it figured out yet though. It was definitely a little awkward at first, which I expected, but eventually it does feel a little more normal after using it for a while. But I think it's gonna be hard for people to switch from what they've known for such a long time with a traditional mouse. I know when I switched from a regular mouse at my job to a vertical mouse, I hated it the first couple days and then I got used to it after a while and now I actually like to use a vertical mouse to help with wrist pain while working with Adobe programs. But there's things with the rabbit mouse and my vertical mouse that could be improved, especially when I compare them to this Logitech G502 Hero mouse. I just can't get over how good the scroll wheel is. And to me, the Logitech mouse just feels more comfortable to use than the Rabbit one. While I do feel the Rabbit mouse is good, and I feel some people might prefer its ergonomics over competitors, for me, this one's an easy choice. If I had to choose between these two, it would definitely be the Logitech G502 Hero Gaming Mouse. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.